Greetings all, welcome back to another episode of the Sega Wall. I'm Sega Zombie and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mega CD, a great add-on for the Mega Drive. As you can see I've taken the games out of the wall so we can have a closer look. Right guys, let's do this, let's have a closer look at my Mega CD games. I do love the Mega CD, some great titles on this Mega Drive add-on. Right, let's start at the top here. First up, we've got the Pro CDX cartridge. This allows you to play Japanese and US games on your PAL Mega CD. Um, this version would only play with the Mega CD 1. And open up here, you can see I've got the instruction leaflet there. And there's the cartridge, it just goes straight into your Mega Drive and away you go. Right, let's have a look at the first game up here. We've got World Cup US 94. Not a bad football game, football, football. And then we've got Dragon's Lair, this game. <laughs> this appeared on every system back in the day in the, in the early 90s. I don't think there was a system that weren't released on. It's solid on the Mega CD. And then we have a great game here, Sylphid. Great little on-rail shooter. It really does use the whole rendered backdrops really, really well. The 3D polygon rendered backdrops, really impressive. Great, fast-paced little shooter. This one, not too familiar with Battle Corps, to be fair. It's not really my style of game. But yeah, you can see your cockpit view there. And you go around blasting. Some good sprite rotation. Next up, here we go. This one really doesn't need any introduction. Sonic CD. Some will say this is the best game on the Mega CD, but I don't think this is the best Sonic. Um, it's got great soundtrack and um, some awesome graphics, but I feel the levels are a little broken in places. And then we have Prize Fighter, another digital pictures FMV game here. A good idea behind this one. It could have worked, but. The controls let it down a little. It's a shame, really. Not bad. And then here we have Wonder Dog, a below average platformer, really. It's nothing special. Uh, I bought this off eBay, so it's missing its back inlay. But it is, if I get this open complete, it has got the instruction manual and is in good condition. Next up, here we have the Sega Classics Arcade Collection. Some nice little titles on here. We've got Golden Axe, Super Monaco GP, Streets of Rage. These are all just Mega Drive ports. And Revengers, Shinobi, and Columns. Yeah, a nice little set. Worth having in the collection, that one. And then next up, what have we got here? Here we have Afterburner 3. Great little game. I do love this franchise. And a solid little blaster on the Mega CD, this. Next up we have Road Avenger, a great FMV title this. I really, really love this game. It, it works, it works. The manga sort of video, cartoon, driving, and you just, you know, when the arrows point up, you go in that direction. Great little game, do enjoy it. Black Hole Assault, this isn't an enjoyable game. It's awful, actually. I suppose you can call it a one-on-one -on -one fighter, but yeah, it makes little sense. Not a great game. Here we have Soul Star. Um, this is a great little game actually on the Mega CD. Really pushes the Mega CD, really shows off the power. You know, it's throwing 2D sprites around amazingly. Um, great, great visuals, a really solid game. Moving on to the next pile. First up here we have Batman Returns. This is essentially the Mega Drive version of the game, but with added driving segments. And they are really, really solid. You can go into the options and just play their driving stages. And, and that it's a standalone game on its own. Really, really good. Next up here we have Wolf Child. Um, originally an Amiga game, I do believe. But yes, a great action platformer, this. Really, really nice graphics. I like the setting as well. Really nice tone to the game. Nice soundtrack too. Yeah, great little action platformer. Next up here we have Time Gal. Don't know much about this game, but it looks like it's based on a manga cartoon. Yeah, it's another sort of FMV in the vein of Dragon's Lair and the like. Yeah, it's not bad. 
yeah, it's quite a, quite a blast. And what's moving on? Earthworm Jim Special Edition. This, in my opinion, is the best console version of Earthworm Jim. Plays really, really well. We all know Earthworm Jim. Lovely 2D platformer. Next up, here we have Mortal Kombat. Um, this is pretty close to the arcade. Uh, nice, nice version of Mortal Kombat. Yeah, great. Worthy in the collection. Moving on to the next one. This one, not so great. Sherlock Holmes. Um, yeah, I've given it a go, but it's a very small window of the FMV and very grainy. And then moving on to my only Japanese Mega CD game, Prince of Persia. We all know Prince of Persia. It was released on every system back in the day. Yeah, solid, solid conversion of the game. Then moving on to The Amazing Spider-Man. I'm not a huge fan of the Spider-Man games, but this is probably one of the better ones on the older systems. And then moving on to Fahrenheit. Again, another FMV game. This one's been trickier to get hold of. It's taken me a while to get hold of that one, but not bad. Not a bad little game. And then we're moving on to one of the best games on the Mega CD, in my opinion. The Terminator, thumbs up on this. This really is a solid, solid game. Awesome visuals, really good 2D sprites and animation, really detailed, awesome soundtrack. The whole game is just solid, a real, real blast. Really highly recommend that. Next up we've got Jaguar XJ220. A solid little racer, if a little boring in places, but you know, it, it scrolls well. Yeah, not a bad racer. Next up, we have a Brutal Paws. Yeah, a below average one-on-one -on -one fight of this. Not really my style. I do love my fighters, but yeah, they're below average. Moving on to the next pile. Let's have a look here. What have we got on the top here? Snatcher. This game doesn't need any introduction. This truly is probably the best Mega CD game in my opinion. A great, great sort of graphic novel style adventure game. Let's open it up here so you can have a look inside. Awesome. One of my prized possessions in my Mega CD collection that. Definitely, definitely a big thumbs up. Awesome game. Moving on to the next one. Here we have Star Wars Rebel Assault. Yes, it's not bad. Average. Again, it's got the full motion video in sections where it's sort of like an on-rail shooter. And here we have another great, great game on the Mega CD. Really, really awesome conversion. Great remix soundtrack. Exclusive to the Mega CD. Final Fight. What a game. Only beaten by Streets of Rage. Big thumbs up. Next up is Cobra Command. This one's let down a little bit by Dodgy Controls. And then an awesome shooter, Soul Feast. Thumbs up on this. Really, really great little shooter, that. Awesome soundtrack as well. Next up we have Lethal Enforcers 2. Not a bad game. I don't mind the Lethal Enforcer games. Yeah, it plays pretty solid on the Mega CD. Next up, what have we got? Eye of the Beholder. Again, originally on the Amiga, I do believe. Um, sort of like the sequel to Dungeon Master, I believe. And you can also use the Sega mouse on this one. Yeah, great game. Next up, oh, more football, FIFA. Got to have FIFA on every system. And here we have another EA Sports game here, NHL. Not bad, actually. I have given this one a bit of a blast. And moving on here, Nova Storm. Now, this is a great little shooter on the Mega CD. Solid, solid little game. Another sort of on-rails one. Yeah, good. Solid. I like it. Mickey Mania. This is probably the version to have. Yeah, it's got a better soundtrack, more animation on the sprites. Um, compared to the Mega Drive version. Yeah, really, really solid little game, Matt. 
great little platformer. And here we have it. The game, the most notorious game, thumbs up, Night Trap. I can remember back in the day, this caused so much controversy, especially in the States, trying to get it banned and it was on all the news. I can remember being on the news over here and it made me want to get the game more. It's one of the first games to get a certificate rating, I do believe. Awesome. And next up here we have another, another great game on the Mega CD, Robo Elise. Awesome. Hard as nails, but really, really awesome. Great soundtrack, awesome visuals as well. You know, great 2D sprites again. Thumbs up. Awesome. And that leads us nicely to the longs box. Here we have They or Vase. Not quite sure how to pronounce this game. Look at that box art, it's lovely. That metallic lettering. Really, really awesome box art. An uh, action RPG. Yet to play it all the way through. I've given it a quick blast, but again, it's an RPG. I don't have much time to play them. Here's another one, Luna, the Silver Star. Again, fantastic box art on this. Look at that, the metallic glitter, and it really does set the box, the the artwork off. Again, another turn base um, RPG game, and I'm sure at some point I'm going to get plenty of time to play through these. Next up, we have Hook. Yeah, this one's not so great. It's an average action platformer again. <laughs> another not so great one, Sewer Shark. Again, another FMV on-rail shooter. What is it with these radioactive rats? This one's not bad, Microcosm. Originally released on the Amiga CD32, I do believe. It's not a bad game. Quite a good concept. You're in the human body shooting viruses. Yeah, cool. And then here we have a great game, Ground Zero Texas. I do love this game. The cheesy, cheesy acting again with the FMV video. <laughs> a really, really funny shooter. Um, it, it, it's great. Yeah, cheesy. Love it. And that's my Mega CD games in the wall. I'd love to add Lords of Thunder and another shooter, Keo Flying Squadron. Would love to get this in the wall. My name is Sega Zombie. You've been watching the Sega Wall. I hope you're enjoying this, guys. If you are, please subscribe below. Until the next time, goodbye.